Hello, this is Stephen Ritchie with Air Hydro Power. Today we're going to talk about Cognex's Dataman 150 and 260 series barcode readers. So first off, the big difference between the 150 and 260 series is the 150 is serial based. So what we can do with this is we can actually plug in another cable and turn it into a USB keyboard wedge mode where it's just running all the time and the second barcode gets in the field of view, it can populate it into an Excel sheet or into your current database. That way the operator doesn't have to pick up a handheld, they don't have to type any keys in, any parts in. That way you know that part was actually put in that fixture at that time and ran. The operator's not scanning a different label that's sitting off to the side, or they have a bunch of batch labels, pick off the wrong label. You actually know that part was ran at that time in that station. Then we have the 260 series, which is network based. So you can communicate to a server, a PLC, a computer, anything that's network based, we can communicate to that way. So lensing options, you have the 6.2 liquid lens, and you also have the 16 millimeter lens. So they both do autofocusing. The only big difference is distance. So if you need to get further away, you can go with the 16, or if you have a tight size constraint, you can go with the 6.2 lens. You can also turn it into a 90 degree. They come straight from the factory, but then you just take out these two T10 torque screws, then you can rotate it 90 degrees, put it together, and you actually butt mount it, gets the cables out of the way and also cuts down on the form factor. That way it gets smaller and where you're working. So we can, this one actually also has the IR lighting on it. It comes red standard, but we can also do blue and white. So that way if your part is different, if your part has different characteristics or the blue light seems to work better, we can actually set it, set it up that way and that way it works for you. So let's get into the demo here. So right now you can see that we have the Dataman software pulled up I am running version 5.7.3 firmware on my reader. So we're going to double click on that. If you actually see right here, it says discovered. If it says misconfigured, that usually means that you have an IP address problem. So either your computer IP address or your reader IP address need to be changed. That way they can communicate together. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the software. We see the open, the welcome screen. So we can actually go to optimize image. First thing we do is we're going to click on live. That way we can actually see that the barcode is in the field of view. So we're going to click on live. So there we go. We can see that the field of barcode is in the field of view. And you actually see that we have two different codes here. So if I'm only wanting to read that UPC code, what I can do is take it out of live mode. I'm going to cover up the data matrix code with my hand. I'm going to hit tune. And then we're going to train it on that UPC code. So right now it's going through its focus setup. So the smaller circles are out of focus, the larger green mean they're in focus. And if you look at the center of the screen, you can see these little dots appearing. Each dot is in a different att attempt. It, the reader attempted to read that code. So you can see that it's changing different focus settings, different brightness options, and then all of a sudden you see a jump. So above this decode threshold is where we're reading it at. So you can see that now we're doing light options and that big green box shows that we read that code. Underneath of that shows the data that's in that code and below that is what type of code it is and what PPM is. So PPM stands for pixels per module. So what that means is if I zoom in here, we are actually 3.8 PPM across the smallest bar in that field of view. So what that means is that we have plenty of resolution to be able to read that code. So you can also see over here, the three the blue dots are the reads up that actually picked as the best option. And if you're interested, you can look down here and see our exposure, our gain, the focus, decode time. If there's any image filtering needed, that's what we could do. So I always like to trigger the reader a couple of times just to make sure that we're getting good reads. So over here on the bottom right hand side, you can see that we're getting our codes and we're actually getting good reads. And you can actually even click back and see other ones. So we can trigger the reader, move the barcode around a little bit, and then you can actually go back through and see what it looked like. You can also click test mode and that's going to trigger about every second so that you can move the part around, do some testing, and you don't have to be in front of the reader to do that, or in front of your laptop. You can see that right now we have current read rate of 100%. Our decode time is 36 milliseconds. 
our min max is 35 to 70 milliseconds. You can also see the light setup that we have on here. You can also see there are aimer is enabled. I personally like to recommend you leave the aimer enabled if possible. That way it just helps out with troubleshooting. If you walk over and see that the aimers are pointed at the wall versus where they need to be, you immediately know something bumped the reader. So that's just some different options of trying to help troubleshoot. Over here, you can actually see on the right-hand side of the screen, the different, your exposure, your gain, and your focus all right there. So that way, if you do want to attempt to change anything, you can physically change it there too. And at the top of the screen, you can see the code that we're trained on. So let's say I did not want to train on that code. Let's say I did want to train on the data matrix or I wanted to read multiple different codes. All I have to do is click untrain and now I can trigger and we will pick up that data matrix code. Let me move it around a little bit. There we go. So we got the data matrix code there. And you can see that the code is different also. So we were still at 100%. And all that moving around changed it up to from up to 67 milliseconds and 134. So it did slow it down some because it's now looking for all different types of codes in that field of view. What types of codes are we looking for? We can go to code details and here you go. Here's all the different codes that we are currently looking for. So if I do not want to look for interleaver 205, I can just uncheck that box and I'm no longer looking for that. So that way we can kind of help out what we're looking for and what we're not looking for also. So that way, if you, if you don't want UPC, then you can uncheck that and it stops different things from causing uh, problems in your network, in your system. So that's just a quick basic setup of a 262, just teaching how to tune it and a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, in a future video, we'll get more in depth on fully setting up the reader I uh, just want to give a quick overview and a couple of troubleshooting options that might help you out. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help out any way I can. Thank you, and everybody stay safe.